Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, before we get started, make sure you guys um, hit the like, the share, the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified anytime I upload. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to apply vinyl to the holographic bags. Um, everybody calls them something different. The holographic bags, the duffel bags, the spending night bags. Um, everybody calls them something different, but they're super popular right now. Um, and I know a lot of people with it that, that are in my group, Crafty Mamas on Facebook, were asking me, how do I apply vinyl or which vinyl or somewhere under the impression it was sublimation. Um, so I'm just doing this video to show everybody how to apply the permanent vinyl to the bag. Um, it's not sublimation, it's not uh, print and cut, it's, it's just regular vinyl. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm in Cricut right now. I have a Cricut cutting machine. If you have Silhouette, then you would be in your Silhouette software. Um, but I basically, I just designed this little phrase in Cricut. Um, I think I used this font. I might have, okay, yeah, I purchased this font. So this is Love Story. I purchased it from Creative Market and then I uploaded it into um, uh, into Cricut. That's the font that I'm using. And then these lips, I just found these lips, I believe either off of Google or Pinterest. Um, right now it's a print and cut image, but I wanna turn it into a cut image. So I'm gonna go up here to line type. I'm gonna select cut and then we're gonna turn it red. And it's they're just gonna be red lips. It's gonna cut as um, one, one piece on my Cricut machine. I'll have to weed out like these little pieces right here, but it's gonna cut in one piece on my machine in red. And then th this the font is gonna cut in black. Um, so it's just two separate pieces. Now I did measure my bag already. Um, when we get off the computer here, I'll show you how I measured it. But I want this whole image in its entirety, entirety to be 11 and a half. So I just kind of selected the whole thing and we're gonna do 11 and a half. And then you're gonna go up to make it. And then you're gonna have two separate pieces um, to make it easier, what I'm gonna do, because they're both just permanent vinyl, I'm gonna put it onto one cutting board or one cutting mat. So I'm gonna go to this the lips, click these three red dots, move object, and I'm gonna put it on the black mat. You're not going to mirror, you do not mirror premium vinyl or permanent vinyl, you mirror HTV, but you do not mirror permanent or premium premium vinyl. So we're not going to mirror this. Um, so I'm just gonna place it. That's gonna be my black piece. And then this is going to be my red piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get these pieces cut out. And then I will come back and show you how I apply it to the bag. So stick around for that. Okay guys, so I am back here. Um, and I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, but I know I'm kind of behind on, I owe you guys a couple of videos, like the wash test for the um, the sublimation on the cotton shirt. I said I was gonna do a wash test for that one. And I am, and I'm also gonna do a new sublimation for a beginner's video where I break it down to answer all your questions from the post that was in my, um, in my craft group. So I just moved into a new suite. I don't know if you can, tell by my background I'm not going to show y'all yet because it's not it's not ready but I was I just moved from a home office into a suite so and I don't have my internet up and nothing yet they're taking forever so that's what's been taking me so long to get those videos out but I am getting them out to you hopefully within the next week or two weeks um but I do have my bag here I'm going to do this holographic one for you guys I've already done this one is the one that I've been carrying around like I've been using it for my gym bag it's the black one that says he just wants to talk in person I thought it was cute with some red lips um so that's the black one that I've been carrying around the gym bag 
I think this one's also going to be for me too. This is probably going to be my work bag. Um, it's the holographic one. And then I have um, my words and my lips cut out and weeded already. Um, so the first thing you want to do is put something inside of the bag. Something that's going to be firm um to kind of stiffen the bag up so it's easier for you to apply it um the next thing you want to do is you want to take some alcohol wipes clorox wipes whatever you got and you want to make sure you clean off the side of the bag um that's just going to make sure that your vinyl sticks to it the way it needs to <clears throat> so i'm just cleaning off the bag here And then gotta let it dry a little bit. But while it's doing that, I will show you um, the vinyl that I use, as well as the um, the transfer tape. If I can find it, that's the strong grip. I need regular. Here it is. Okay, so this is the vinyl that I'm using. It's just the Cricut brand premium vinyl. I'm using it in black and red. Um, I got this from, I think they had this at Walmart, Michaels, Amazon, um, Meyer, I believe, Target. And then, nope, not that one. This is the, I'm also using the Cricut transfer tape as well. The regular transfer tape. Okay, so I'm just going to take my black letters first, and I'm going to measure out the size of the tape that I need, which is about this much. Let me get my scissors. And then I'm just going to cut off my piece of tape. Okay. Now I'm going to take the backing off of my transfer tape. And then you're going to stick this onto your letters. And then you are going to need your little Cricut tool. Your spatula thingy, whatever this is called. I'm not sure what this is called. And then you're just going to go over the letters and make sure they're nice and stuck to the transfer tape. And then a trick that somebody told me to get it off easier is to flip it over and peel the white part up. Oh, this one's not coming up. Now we have our letters on our transfer tape. And then you're going to take your bag and you're going to lay it down so that you can see where you want to place it. going to make sure that the vinyl isn't on to the bag you're going to take your tool again so there it is on the bag with the tape and you're just going to take your tool and you're going to make sure the letters are on there you're just going to go over them Okay. 
okay? And then you want to peel your tape up, but make sure you do it slowly. Just in case there's any, like this one. I'm sure you didn't see it, but the letter wasn't down all the way. I'm going to peel it from this side so you guys can see it. All right, they're just gonna peel it up, but again, make sure you peel it slowly so that just in case there's any letters that are not down all the way, you don't rip them or anything. Okay, and it looks like all of them. Yep, all right, all of them are on there. So now there's the letters on the bag. Okay, and then I'm going to add my lips as well. And you're gonna do the exact same thing. I have my lips here. I'm gonna cut some of this away because I don't need this big piece. You're gonna take your the same piece of tape. I'm not gonna get a new piece of tape. I'm gonna use the same piece of tape because it's gonna stick just fine and I don't need to waste more transfer tape. And you're gonna do the same thing. Put the transfer tape onto the vinyl. Take your little tool and go over it. And you're going to flip this over and peel the white away. And see, it just came right off. Now you're going to take your lips or whatever design you have. And I'm going to place it right here on the side like it was on the computer and do the exact same thing. Take my tool, make sure it's on there. And then I'm going to peel this away. You make sure you peel it slowly so that, like I said, just in case something isn't down all the way for whatever reason, your vinyl, you don't rip it. Because then you'll have to go back to the computer and recut it and everything. And there it is. Now, you don't need to seal it. Um, I know some people do like to seal it. I would say do like Mod Podge if like if you're going to do anything at all. I would say don't seal it with anything. But if you must absolutely seal it, I would use like the gloss Mod Podge just on the lips. Don't even do the whole bag. Just do the lips. I mean, just do the um, the vinyl. So the lips and the letters if you, you know, you really feel like you need to. But that is how you apply the vinyl to the bags, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely drop them down below and let me know. Um, and like I said, I will try to get a couple videos out for you guys this week, um, next week at the latest, the sublimation video, as well as the wash test for the cotton shirt that I did in my last video. Um, but thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.